guys welcome to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem which says that knowing that angle alpha equals to 20 degree determine the tension in cable ac and in rope bc so we are given that this angle alpha is 20 degrees and we are required to find the tension in this particular rope and we are required to find the tension in this particular rope so as we can see that this point C is in equilibrium under three forces and I have discussed in the previous problems that whenever a particular point or a system is in equilibrium under three forces then the summation of these three forces must be equal to zero and if the summation of these three forces is equal to zero then these three forces or tensions must make a closed triangle according to head to tail rule. So. First of all, I'm going to draw the free body diagram. The free body diagram is already drawn here. So this is the, this particular uh, arrow shows that tension in rope BC. If we cut this rope, so we will have the tension in BC. So let me write that this is the tension in BC rope, which is making angle alpha with the horizontal and angle alpha is 20 degrees. Similarly, um, this will be the tension in rope AC this is that tension in rope ac and uh, this rope ac is making five degrees with the vertical like this so if i draw a line here let's say if we draw a vertical line here then uh, this tension in ac is making five degree angle here so if if this line is vertical and if this line is vertical then this angle and this angle both of these angles are equal since both of these angles are alternate angles so if this um, tension in a c rope is making five degree angle with the vertical here then it is making that five degree angle here as well so we will write that this angle is this particular angle with the vertical is five degrees as well so this this one is this arrow tells us the tension in rope AC. So I will write that this is TAC. And similarly, this, this arrow shows us that this is that 1200 pound weight. So this is 1200 pound weight. Now, as I have told you people that this point C is in equilibrium and the equilibrium, by equilibrium we mean that the summation of forces is equal to zero or in other words, this, the resultant of these three forces uh, is equal to zero. And if the resultant of these three forces is equal to zero by head to tail rule, they must make a closed triangle. So we need to arrange these three forces in such a way so that uh, uh, we are able to make a closed triangle, by, but the orientation will remain the same. So let's say if I copy uh, this TBC, this is my TBC arrow. So TBC, plus this weight we will add these by head to tail rule so this is that weight and then tac so we will copy this tac and we need to since this diagram is not up to the scale the the uh, the vector lengths and the angles are the approximate angles somehow the closed triangle will look like this right so we need to represent uh, all the tensions. So this one is TBC. This one is TAC. And this is the weight 1200 pounds. Now we know that TAC, this TAC is making five degree with the vertical, right? So this, this arrow is vertical. So we will have that five degree angle here. So this is that five degree. Similarly, uh, this TBC is making 20 degree with the horizontal. So if we draw a line here, so this angle is 20 degree. So let me represent um, this angle is 20 degrees. So now if I draw another horizontal line here, so if if this angle is 20 degrees, then this angle is 20 degrees as well. So this is 20. And since this weight vector is vertical, so this angle is 90 degrees. So this means that this whole angle is 90 plus 20, which is one, uh, 110. 
So let me make this free body diagram a bit a little bit large. So this is now our free body diagram. And this angle, this is 90 and this is 20. So 90 plus 20 is 110. So let me represent that this angle is, this whole angle is now 110. This angle is 5 degrees, this is 110. So we can find this angle since we know that the summation of the angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. Let's say that this angle is theta. So we can say that theta plus 110 plus 5 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. And theta is equal to 180 minus 110 minus 5 degrees. So this gives me theta equals to 65 degrees. Now this particular angle is, this particular angle is 65 degrees. So let me write that this angle is 65. Now to find TAC and TBC, we can always apply the sine's law. So by sine's law, we can say that uh, TAC divided by the sine of the opposite angle. So now this is TAC and the opposite angle is this 110. So sine of 110 is equal to the weight divided by the uh, sign of the opposite angle so this is 1200 so the opposite angle is this which is 65 so sine of 65 degrees so similarly we can say that TBC divided by the sine of the opposite angle so now the opposite angle to TBC is 5 degrees so sine of 5 degrees again equals to 1200 divided by the sine of the opposite angle so the opposite angle to 1200 pound is 65 degrees so now we can find tac from this equation and tbc from this equation if we multiply both sides of equation by sine of 110 so we will get tac so tac is equal to 1200 sine of 110 divided by sine of 65 degrees Similarly, TBC is equal to 1200 into sine of 5 degrees, multiplying both sides of equation by sine of 5 degrees, sine of 65. So 1200 sine of 110 divided by sine of 65 degrees it gives me TAC, the tension in AC rope equals to 1244 pounds similarly tbc will be 1200 sine of 5 degrees so tbc is equal to 115.40 or we can say that this is 115 pounds approximately so that this is the tension in rope ac and this is the tension in rope bc which was required so this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope it will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Vector Mechanics by Baron Johnston.